How's it going guys? I'm Manny the Phenom of Phenom Studios, here to do another video for you. Now, this video is a little different. I'm going on a tangent. It's a rant video. Yesterday, I saw a post on Instagram that kind of set me off. Here's the post right here. It's a meme. So what it's depicting is someone drowning and the person drowning is asking the guy on the boat, which is an artist, how do you get better at art? What do you have to do? And the guy on the boat says, practice, just practice. And then the hand slowly drowns. Thank you, you're the best, thank you. Go something like that. Uh, so the person sh who shared this post, a great artist, uh, someone I follow, I don't, I don't really know him or his work too much. It's, it's just someone I follow because I like his work and uh, he'll pop up on my feed every now and then. But in the description, in, uh, in the post, he's saying, he, he's, I don't, it almost comes off smug. I'm not going to say this smug. I don't think that was his attention. But it almost comes off like that, especially after reading the comments, people agreeing with them. It's him saying, yeah, when people ask him how to get better at art, that's what he tells people. Just practice. Just practice. <laughs> what do you, that's all it is, man. It's that's being an artist. That's how you get good. That's uh, how you become great. Just practice. And there's comments on the post saying, like, yeah, it's like a sport, man. You have to practice all the time. Give it all you got. Practice, practice, practice. Now, I was going to say something, which I did, but someone beat me to it. Some guy left a comment saying, which I agree with them, and I replied to him saying, um, just practice, just saying, just saying, just practice is not good advice, man. It, it's, it's, here's the problem. And just to use a sports analogy that the person used and to flip it on him, which is a horrible analogy in, in his sense, um, imagine a, a, a kid, a kid new, new to a sport. He goes up to the coach and he's really passionate about learning and wants to get better and um, he wants to help the team. And he goes, coach, what do I need to do to, to get better, to help the team, uh, to be the best I can? And the coach says, practice. So all you have to do is just practice all the time. Practice, practice, practice. And the coach leaves and leaves at that. And the kid go, and the kid's there like, practice what? <laughs> saying, pra saying just practice is not good advice. It's not, it's not informative it's not very helpful obviously yes whatever you do you need a rep repetition is key duh but what are you repeating what are you what are you doing over and over there's bad practice there's good practice Either someone could be practicing and doing the wrong thing over and over and over and over and over again saying just practice is lazy vague advice horrible advice if you're an artist don't do that take basketball for instance if you're a coach and, and someone's you, as a coach, you analyze a player. That player can be great, but or that player can be bad. Either way, you're still analyzing them and telling them what they can do to improve. And maybe the, the kid's free throw. And this is not just... Sorry, my phone fell there. Um, but yeah, this is not just for kids, because not only little kids ask how to get good at art. There's people of all ages. I'm 27. I ask that. I, I need to get better. Everyone needs to get better. 30s, 40s, whatever. Whoever asked you. But just imagine... Uh, a coach, uh, like let's take basketball for instance, a coach analyzes what's going wrong, what you're doing wrong, what you need to prove on. Say the person's bad at free throws, um, he'll he'll help them with the free throw. Maybe it's the way they um, flick the wrist, maybe it's the where, where they have their fingers placed on the ball. Maybe their knees are buckled, maybe their footing is too 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 wide or, or not wide enough. Maybe their hips aren't, aren't aligned or squared enough. Maybe their one shoulder is too low, too high. Like there's, they analyze up and down or, or Maybe their defense needs improvement on, or their team defense, communicating with someone, uh, uh, banking shots, uh, going off backboards, floaters, uh, running down running down the court. Like, uh, there's so many things that you could work on in one sport, thousands and thousands of things. It's the same thing with art. You can't just say, just practice. <laughs> so in that sense, it can be maybe a little difficult to tell someone uh, what to do if you don't know their skill set. But generally, it's it's someone's asking because they don't know where to start, and and um, with that, I mean, I would tell them with uh, fundamental, start with the fundamentals, uh, get get these particular books. Um, I'll make a separate video on beginning artists explaining all this. I'm not gonna, gonna get into it right now, um, but yeah, there's there's books, there's YouTube channels that do great. I would be recommending these things that helped me to, to start. There's principles you want to get good at, whether it's like light and shadow, form, 
gesture, composition, shapes, line, line weight. There, there's, there's so many little things. I mean, both big things. These are big things. These are fundamentals. Very important. You need that solid foundation to build upon. So already, that's more than that's that's more information than just practice. I'm giving you things to practice, and I would be giving resources to use, whether books I've read that were really helpful, particular videos or channels that were really helpful, courses I've taken. I'm taking schoolism right now. Now I tell everyone schoolism, do schoolism, because that's what's helping me out. This is specific advice. You need structure. You need an objective. You need something to aim towards. You need a goal. You need something to practice. You need assignments. You know? There's so many, so many different things you could practice and, and these little assignments to do, these little tips and tricks. Like a big thing is drawing from real life. Don't just draw from pictures or cartoons. Draw real people, draw real trees, draw, go outside, draw rocks, you learn, learn life. Are your, are your lines really wiggly? Are they shaky? Well, you learn how to use your shoulder. Learn how to not move your wrist so much if you're doing straight lines. If you're trying to do straight lines, learn how to keep a, a tight wrist, you know? Also, the whole mental game about art. When you're not feeling motivated, when you don't want to do something, how to push towards, uh, through that. Uh, little things to remember. Then, at that point, I would be recommending books I've read that help me with, with pushing through kind of the crawling of, through the mud that art or anything you pursue can be. like. It might be a passion, but it's not fun and games all the time. It's, and mo most of the time, it's it's hard focus and concentration, you know? The, and then the mental blocks will start happening and, and your mind will start trying to stop you from pursuing that passion of yours because it's painful. It's painful to, to push yourself and to focus and to concentrate because it's not fun. And your brain wants to protect you from things that are are miserable you know and you need to know you need to, you need to know how to push through that and recognize it and push through it so th there's just so many things to, that you can go into instead of just saying all right so that's the end of my rant the next video I'm gonna do is tips for for beginner beginning artists I kind of dwelled into it just now but I'll go into more detail uh, about that in the next video but thanks for watching guys Please, if you have any more practical advice, leave it in the comment section, not just practice. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section and, and leave your thoughts about the, the video all together. Please, would love to interact with you guys. Thank you. Please like the video as well. And if you're not subbed yet, subscribe. Love the support, guys. It keeps me going. It's my fuel to my engine. And uh, yeah, thanks again, guys. And until next time, feed on out.